What's up, legends, ladies and gentlemen? It's Canada Cop Watch. We've got another reaction here for you guys today. This one is from a channel called Awesome Asim. Um, this video is on the 401, just above. It's on an overpass of the 401 in Toronto. And he's being told that he can't wave a flag up there now. What I'm going to say about the pro, what he's protesting, I don't have enough knowledge on the situation to uh, give opinion on it. So I'm going to leave that up for everybody else to decide your own opinions. But just the fact that he's being told he can't wave a flag in Canada, in a place where it happens on a regular basis, um, I don't know. Like This must be something new that I'm not aware of personally. Guys, I apologize for the, the half a screen. I know he filmed it uh, vertically, but it is what it is. I think the video is more important than the, the horizontal or vertical. So, yeah, let's get into this, guys. Canada Cop Watch. Not wrong. Hello, officer. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, I'm just going to ask you just if you could move just to the side of the bridge so you're not over the overpass, just to the side of it. Okay. Why? Just because it's a safety reason. I've been doing a lot of these these uh, these bridge protests mm -hmm. and the flags and stuff like that. And from my experience, I've noticed. So Sorry. I'm just gonna back up here. Uh -huh. um, it is a distraction and it is public safety. A lot of these cars are going very very fast. Yes. They're, they'll look up. They'll see your flag. And as I said, in, in my experience, I have seen cars start honking their horns or wave their hands at the air and then kind of move out of their lane a little bit. So for public safety reasons, mm -hmm. I'm just asking you, I'm not, I'm not telling you that you can't be here. Uh -huh. I just want you to go over to the, to the side of the bridge. People can still see you, okay. but just not over the overpass, please. So uh, I believe I believe in the past, there have been protests happening, right? Like over centuries in, in Canada, over the passes, where people have been, for example, for Remem Remembrance Day or for the... Fallen soldiers. And yeah, like yeah, all that stuff. So yeah. people have been doing this for decades they've been doing it for a, for a while yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely um, my response to that is we haven't had one of those since we've been called out for this issue so I don't know if that's something that's in the past now I, I can't answer I, I don't that. I can't that doesn't make that. sense it, it, Mr. Might, it, it might it might be a thing of the past okay is there is there, is there any is, is there any is there any new regulation or any law that has come uh, new that that prevents people from protesting over the passes well as i'm as i'm saying it's a it's a safety issue i mean it's been going on for as you said for a while now right in the past guys i want to remind you our highways are full of billboards left side right side above you everywhere you look there is somebody trying to sell you something they've got signs digital signs that they remind you not to drink and drive They've actually got signs that remind you about distractive driving and you have to look up to read the sign to tell you not to di not to drive distracted. I don't get it. I don't get it. So they distract you to tell you not to be distracted basically. And now with all that going on on the highway, they're going to tell this man he can't wave one flag. It's not even like the whole bridge is full and it's gonna cut like it's one flag man there's flags waving all along the 401 the service centers have flags like this come on man i feel like this man is picking and choosing this, this with the flag yeah just forget the color of the flag yeah it's yes it's people, the, people it's have. the act of yes of peacefully protesting as a canadian citizen yes so but mm -hmm. as i said mm -hmm. it's, I'm, I'm deeming it a safety issue and all i'm asking you is to take some steps over that way and just off the bridge so that you're not a distraction and you're not it's, it's not a safety issue, issue to these people driving home from wherever they're driving home from okay so what, what precedence is this like i don't understand like under what well, safety uh, issue? Uh, yeah. I, I would say a month ago the chief of police came out and said that there's not going to be any uh any actually processes. oh about that yeah i i did read an article and it's on my phone here where uh they were taken to the court and the judge said you can people are allowed to protest over the overpasses i have the article from toronto star if you want to see the case was dismissed by the judge sorry and 
Yeah. I'm wearing glasses. Man did his proper research, everything before going. You got a point. It's not gonna get violated. Yeah, that's that's fine. But I am asking you, sir, just to okay. take some steps over there. He said, so that's fine that a judge already ruled on it. But I'm still asking you. Oh yeah, I hear you. Okay, so as I am deeming it a public safety issue, these cars are driving 100 kilometers an hour. Th yeah. And, and I told you, in I my agree. experience, yeah. I have seen it. Okay, I've been doing this for and months now, and I never had any issue over here. PSR where too. you know there were any cars. Oh, thank there you, you go, sir. Thank you. So yeah, I mean under public safety issue. Guys, but another thing is, what is this, man? What is it? Red, red, white, red. Unless I'm colorblind, that is not showing that. Like, this is not the Canadian flag. I'm not sure what it is, if it's something similar to these blue line flags they got going on, or... I don't know, man. But I, I feel like these guys, their position and in society, they should be at least wearing a proper flag if these are the rights you guys are upholding. Like, this is the Canadian flag right here. What is this? I don't know. But th that could be anything. I could be standing on over there as well. I, and that could be a distraction as well. So, so I'm, you're I'm saying... Not, I'm not going to say what's a distraction and what's not. Uh -huh. than... you, are, you just said that. This is a distraction. This is, this, so, so this why, why is that not a distraction over there? It's less of a distraction. Uh, so that's very subjective, right? What's the threshold? I, I agree to, let's agree to dis disagree. That's fine. Okay. But I'm, not, I'm asking you to go over there. So, so, and if I don't uh, abide by what you're saying, what, what's the consequences? You could be arrested. Thrown in a cage. Hmm. And charged. So, under what would I be charged? You have struck. You're not listening to a, a lawful from, command from a police officer. Okay, okay. okay? So, so then I'll have to go to the court and then you have to prove that I was doing something illegal. Well, if, if it goes to, if you're arrested, you, you would be charged. Yeah, yes. of course. And then you have your, your day in court, 100%. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing, so you can arrest me. Okay. It's going to explain to you, right? Yeah, 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 he did okay. explain. So if you refuse to move, you will be arrested. Yeah, I understand. So, I understand. So what is this, like, good cop, bad cop? The second he went over and said, this guy looked. Like, all right, it's your turn. Tag team. We tagged him in. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Man. What you're yeah. doing right now is you're distracting a motorist. You hear yeah. people driving in the yeah. engine, right? Yeah. That's a distraction. So, so, if, I, you I, have... mm -hmm. so if you cause a collision mm -hmm. and there's a pileup on the highway, it's a direct cause of you standing here with an object over the highway. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay. And so I if, spoke, if mm -hmm. you refuse to move, mm -hmm. you're going to be obstructing police officers' uh, direction. Mm -hmm. and you will be arrested. So it's your choice. Yeah, well, I I believe what I what I'm doing is not wrong, and I, I, as this Canadian well, citizen, I have the right to protest. You have, you know, absolutely. You do. And I'm not obstructing anybody. I'm not causing. You are. You're obstructing us, giving you a lawful order to. How move. is it lawful? Because you're distracting the motorist. But sir, this the, these kind of protests have been happening in Canada in for sky, man. Absolutely they have. decades. But when they happen in an overpass during rush hour when there's cars coming here and you're distracting the drivers, that's an issue. So, so, so we have no issues if you're doing it if you stand to the side. Yeah. Where you're not distracting the motorist. So they are distracted. So, so sorry. So this has been going on for other protests as well, not just for. Regardless of so, what so ha has we're, we're dealing with today's issue, we're not going to talk about the past. Okay. So based on what, like, why, why was it not ever an issue in the past? I was there, not there in the past. Yeah, I, but I'm here as, today, as I'm Toronto, Toronto Police, as Toronto Police, I, I can't speak for what's happening in the past. Here. I'm dealing with today's issue, and this is the direction we've been given. Okay. Uh, who, who's giving you that direction? This is the direction we're beginning by our, our command. So if you don't move, you will be arrested. I'm not like we're not gonna stand here and go go through this for, for a long time. I explained to you what's going on. Yeah. And if you refuse to move, you will be arrested. So it's your choice. So protesting on the overpasses 
It's yeah, illegal. It's real. Nothing to do with protesting. You're, then, you're, uh, you're okay. Uh huh. So, so standing with you, standing here with the object. The threats are real, man, and that's much more than a threat just to arrest. Because if you think about it, what what would happen if if he knew a hundred percent that what he's doing is right and a hundred percent legal? And he decided that he was not going to be placed into a cage for committing no crime. Right? What happens then? Then he gets hurt. He gets beat up. Possibly tased. Possibly shot. And that's the crazy part. All of it over confusion. Or maybe they're not confused and they know what's right and wrong and they're just violating the rights. You know? But it's crazy. Uh -huh. Distracting the motorists. So that is illegal. You can stand off to the side where you're not distracting the motorists and okay. you can protest all day long. So there's no issue. There are, protests, uh, there are motorists over there as well. Okay, but they're not driving 100 kilometers an hour on a highway. So? They're it's... stopped there at a red light. But it's completely different. So so what if someone is driving 100 here? We're not going to get into what if, what if. Okay. Like that's, I'm not going to stand here with you and debate what uh -huh. all day. Uh -huh. that's, not, that's not the point. Uh -huh. The point is, it's a public safety concern right now, and if you don't move, you're going to be arrested. So it's your choice. Okay. Because this went to the court in, in the past, okay. and the case dismissed and allowed That's the protesters fine. to okay. stand so on the if, bridge. If you want to take that stand, it's yeah. up to you. Okay. So is that what you're choosing to do today? Mm. Follow what a Supreme Court judge rule on? Yeah. yeah. That's what you're going to do? Yeah. Okay, no problem. He's doing some research in there. He, he wants to double check that he's not about to fuck up. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. When you have to pray for your freedom, man, while you're exercising rights, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I, got, I'm not, I don't understand what he's saying, so who knows what he's praying for or what he's saying. But I have a feeling he's praying for a lot more than freedom. He knows how bad this can go. Scary stuff, guys. Scary stuff, man. Scary stuff, guys. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Always film, always record. So apparently, I'm waiting to get arrested right now. Because I refuse to move this flag out, out of the highway, out of the roadway, over the pass. Doesn't know he looks very uncomfortable right now. Stuffurullah, 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 Shuddullah, Lamullah, Ahmadullah, Shuddullah. Allah, my Nakafun, to Hibbullah, Fafana. Stuffurullah, Stuffurullah, Stuffurullah. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min azalimin Ya hayu ya qayyumun Inda rahmati la istaghith Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad wa baraka sallam Astaghfirullah astaghfirullah We are gonna fast forward through guys Just pop into where the officer gets out Okay, sir. I'm you guys I'm see what just happened there? For some reason, when he went back into his car, his body camera turned off again. Now that he's popping back out, he's going to turn it back on. But this was the same investigation the whole time. So whatever conversation he was having on his phone, he didn't want these cameras to record it. But it was a part of this investigation. It's public record. 
so that they, these guys keep doing this with these body cameras they keep doing it it's like that's not why we're paying for body cameras for you guys to turn them off and turn them on to benefit yourselves we want transparency we want to see the whole interaction everything that is said and that's how it should be this on and off body camera stuff it's been happening and it's got to stop one last caution mm -hmm. and that as again i'm telling you that this is deemed a safety risk due to the how fast these people are traveling and they look up they honk their horn they get distracted if it causes a car accident i just ask you if, if you had family and they got rear-ended because of something like this how would you feel we're terrible extremely yeah, very and very sad yeah okay so I don't know, all i'm asking is you to walk over to the side of the bridge it's not fair if man. you don't do that you are he going can't to say that he can't put there's so many distractions out there every single day if you're a driver you know this man you can't put that on this man if somebody was to get injured and they're distracted and there's distractions all over the place. The lights on top of this man's car is a distraction. When them lights turn on, no matter where you are on the, are on the road, you hear the sounds, you look for them, right? That's a distraction. So if somebody gets hurt during that, is that, is that his responsibility? No, right? So how is it his responsibility because he has a flag that someone decided to look at? It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. We're going to leave it here. I want you guys to go over Awesome Asim's channel. I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, go watch the rest of the video. There's another eight minutes of this video. I'm not going to tell you guys how it ends. I want you guys to go over and check it out. And uh, yeah, just stay, stay, stand, keep sending us videos, man. Stay in touch. Stay in tune with all these videos we're posting. And the reason I want to do these reactions is just spread awareness and Hopefully you guys will follow all these channels that we're posting. We definitely encourage you to. Um, it's very important, very important to have that support, right? So yeah, guys, we appreciate you guys. Until the next one, it's Canada Cop Watch. Bunch of legends out there. Love.